Wow, awesome views down there, guys. Hey, before we start the video, this is a beautiful area. I've been many times. It's so difficult to get to because, well, the road is atrocious. Before we start the video, I want to thank each and every one of you. 6,600 subscribers. We're doing fantastic. I wouldn't imagine. I was so happy when I saw a thousand <laughs> and now over six, over 6,000. And we're putting about three to 400 every month. So you know, I must be doing something right. I want to thank you. And you know, a majority of my people, they're not subscribers. Uh, I look at the analytics of YouTube and 75% of people that look at my uh, channel aren't subscribers. And it's so easy. It's free. You just can just, you don't even have to give them information. You can just get a, an email address with a false name on, come to YouTube, subscribe, notify, press the bell, you get notified of my lives and my videos coming out. You can subscribe, you can comment, uh, you can give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Please do it. You'll really help me. If you love my videos, you subscribe and you really push the channel on. Let's see if we can get over 7,000. Um, I want to catch up a friend of mine. He really helped me at the beginning. Gordon, if you're not sure if you're watching over in Thailand, I was down in the dumps, 600, and to get monetized, I don't know if you know it, for what little bit they give us anyway, you need a thousand. He gave me a shout out and it really pushed the channel, because that's what happens, really. When YouTube see that things are being liked and commented and clicked on and more subscribers, they start suggesting your video to other people. So you get that sort of octopus effect, you get out. Anyway, there's something else I want to, apart from all you lot subscribers, thank you very much. You really are you make my world every time i see the comments i love the comments i know i take a bit of time to get around to but you know sometimes 150 180 200 comments and you only have to leave it for a few days and it starts mounting up also want to thank the donators um if you want to buy me a beer or you want to help towards the drone fund which is doing good at palisa um no no pressure you can do what you want the link is below every video and also there's that uh, if you want to donate for that five minute live there's something there as well. Um, but I'm happy the way we're going, no problem at all. Michael Coates, thank you. Uh, Graham Pooch, uh, that's Graham in the Walsh spelling, I think. John Bonnet, hi John, thank you. Mario Gregg, thank you Mario. Antoinette Faruja, thank you Antoinette. Uh, Adrian Whitaker, that's the uh, song of Whitaker. And John Henry Bywater, his every month he comes. Thank you very much. Uh, Suzanne Crabb. Oh, some funny noises going up there. A lot of dogs around as well, guys. We're going to have the alert. We're going to get one of those tasers. Here is a bit weird. It says it's private road, but you can walk down. But uh, I never take the chance. Some of these farmers take on the place and, and the outbuildings, and they call it their own. Thank you, everybody. Michael, Graham, John, Mario, Antoinette, uh, Adrian, John, Henry, Bywater, and Susanna. Thank you, everybody. Uh, let's get on to the video. Awesome video. I'm way out in the wild here. There's just one bloke here. I don't know what he's doing. Beautiful day as well today, guys. Let's carry on with the video. Thank you, everybody, and let's keep on subscribing, please. Don't forget, it's very easy to subscribe to YouTube. Very, very easy. And you've got lots of benefits as well. Hope you enjoy the video, guys. guys today i'm going to share with you god the devil medieval folk tales some very interesting buildings let's go this is my island in the sun
way, way out. Imtahleb. It's a bit of a difficult Imtahleb. Many people, maybe they've not heard of this place. It's way out. There's not even a decent road to it. Uh, they've been doing the road for about six or seven months. They've been sort of tarmacking and widening it. There's a beautiful church here. That's what we're going to go and see. Right on the cliffs, looking over that Mijra Feha in Tatleb. Listen, this church was abandoned 15, so 1656. This is the main entrance, but that's been taken over by uh, some kind of, I don't know, either it's been taken over or they've took it over. Private, no entry. There is a road going down there, but uh, private road, it says. We're going to go this way. It was all part of the church in the medieval. This church, 1656, built on foundations of medieval. So uh, way, way back. We've got the, I don't know what these are, what are they, melons? Uh, not melons, uh, marrows, something like that. They lead them there, sun. Look at the views from up here, guys. A little bit windy here. Sorry about that, the wind noise. Lots of farms, good land around here. We're on our way to this church. Now this church, oh. well, that's falling away, but let's get on some decent ground. There is a road going to it, but it's been blocked off. So nobody wants to get to this church, guys. It's a chapel. I think more like a chapel, but in those old days, this was the only thing around here. Farmers. Uh, it's got like a little medieval village because that's what it was from Tatleb. It was like a medi medieval uh, settlement, they call it. How do we get over here? Very rough land here. Mm. I'm being attacked. This is the road to it, but there's some kind of factory that's uh, down on there and they decided to put a gate. So who knows what's going on behind the wall. It was a lovely cloudy, but the sun's coming out. Here it is guys. It's uh, the Nativity of Virgin Mary in Tatleb Church or Chapel. Got like a, a bit of a checkered past. It was left uh, abandoned by the church many years ago. And uh, Satanists moved in and they did all sorts of funny things going on. Uh, there was uh, a lot of trouble about it some many years ago. Oh, windy up here. Look at the views. There's a crypt as well down there. No way to get down to it. As I say, this was abandoned. 16.30 on Saturdays. So if you want to come, I don't know if we can see inside a little bit. There is a little bit there, but in darkness. Mm, there's another door inside. I think that's causing the reflection. As I say, 16.56, built on foundations, uh, very medieval foundations. Come over here, guys. Fantastic sunsets. I think one of the best. Dingley and this place, uh, Blue Grotto, those are about the three best. Um, even uh, even Ain Tufia is nice sunset as well. We have some really red, burning skies sometimes, Morta. I think you've seen them, I've posted a lot. Here's like the medieval village here behind the church, like a settlement.
fantastic views but it looks like it's been blocked off again here last time I came you could walk past here we've got these sort of man-made signs if you're taking any notice of them and this one a bit further no entry it looks like he's nicked it off the road so you can walk on his land where he's growing but you can't go any further back sometimes the hunters do that as well we can see a little bit here. I'm going to show you these medieval places. Bite is still left. I think it's starting to rot a little bit there. It's the sounds of nature, guys. Wind. Last time I put uh, that wind blocker on, and it it doesn't. You don't hear any of the bird noises. So either you put up with a little bit of wind noise and you don't see the nature, or uh, we block everything off. Here's the little village, I don't see if we can get inside it. Little settlement here. I was hearing some music. Ooh, spooky. Wow, enormous cobwebs. Let's have a look inside. It's got the fireplace, look at that. You have to be careful because some of these I've got wells. This was for animals, I guess. Look at this. Very old, eh? The doors fell in. Oh, this is a bit smaller. Yeah. It's a bit full of, a bit full of rubbish in there. This is like dwellings of uh, small houses. Can you hear that, guys? Am I hearing things? Stay quiet. Sounds like the organ. There is supposed to be something about uh, a folk tale up here. Something about oh, look at this door right here. Another place here. Some outside toilets. And you can see the farmers taking over uh, some of these rooms. Even though it's not theirs, they take it over and put no entry. This is interesting. What the Things for the doors there. It's gone that sound. Ooh, spooky. Um, because of those devil worshippers, it's got like a bit of a history, um, a bit of a folk tale about it, about, uh, you know, they're sacrificing, uh, virgins. The only problem is they had to start importing because they ran out of the virgins in Malta. Oh my screen is a bit... I think we just keep the screen. Oh that's better. You can hear voices from way back. This uh, place reminds me of Wales when you go to Orshu Pass and things like that. It's so quiet. So close to nature. There is a few modern buildings that uh, obviously were done in the old days, but you can see 1656, the original mountain, the original foundations date back medieval times. So there was obviously a chapel or a church here. But these views are, eh? Oh, there's a wall collapse over there. 
big problem with these Maltese walls when they get the wind and the rain it slowly starts uh, etching away at it this is a very nice walk all the way down but it's taking it over I don't know if there's actually anybody in here Sometimes it's not worth taking the chance. It could have been all part of this medieval uh, part of the church. This guy is taking it over. This looks like this is being taken care of, so... I thought you'd be interested to see this. I've been trying to uh, get here for a few weeks. Uh, but they come and picnic here, some people. They come and picnic in this area to watch the sunset because it comes from over there. You can see the sun there. Uh, about five, six o'clock. It goes down. This is all beautiful countryside though. A little bit dry and bare because it's... Uh, we have these really hot summers. And this part of it's not really great. It's very rocky. Subscribe to my channel and give me lots of likes.